Hi everyone, this is Gail, your Fun Stampers Journey Coach number 1036. I just wanted to give you some, show you the things that we got while we were at convention. Uh, I've had a lot of people asking different questions, so I'm just going to show you what I came home with. And while I've got the camera on me, let me show you this beautiful, uh, it's like, they call it a dog tag, but it's curved in the center. Let me put it somewhere where you can see, curved in the center. And our Journey Bloom is on here, plus R.G. Richard's signature. And it's hanging on this gorgeous chain. This is called a detail chain. And all of our jewelry is rhodium plated. There's no nickel. And it doesn't ever tarnish. It stays shiny. But I absolutely love this chain. And then I bought the um, dog tag to go on it. I also bought part of a set. They didn't have everything at the convention location. So I'm going to have to order this. But this is our locket. And this is, these are two separate items. This is the locket, and this is the sparkle locket. So you buy the sparkle locket. I can't figure out where my lens is. This is all backwards, so it makes it difficult. And then they have several things you can put inside, and they have glass that you can fit in here. And they had the flat glass, but I wanted the curved glass, and they didn't have that. So that's something I need to order separate. But then I bought the Journey Bloom, which is kind of sparkly. And anything that's sparkly is, the, is uh, cubic zirconia. So this is going to go on another chain that they also had run out of. They're going to be sending that to me. But this is another piece of jewelry. And I know most a lot of people didn't know we even had jewelry. It was kind of tucked in the back of the catalog. But, and I, I'll be honest, I hadn't bought any myself. Oh, I've got something else. I hadn't bought anything else myself because I needed to see it. And seeing it just sold it to me. But look at this. I have a cuff bracelet. It's open in the back. And it says, enjoy the journey. And I think the other one is dreams happen or something like that. But the bracelet is new in our new catalog. And I believe the dog tag is new also. So those will be in our new catalog. But I'm going to turn the camera down and kind of show you uh, some of the things that, we, that I came home with so you can be excited with me. Okay, I'm sorry I can't get this to zoom out anymore, but I showed you this bag in an earlier video, but I just wanted to show you the fabric. It's sort of a denim canvas type fabric. Of course, it has the sparkly sequin heart on it, and it has the two regular shopping carry handles as well as a shoulder strap that's detachable. And this they gave to us when we first checked in. And it's a good thing they did because they started giving us things. Uh, these are our collector pins. There's the camera. Which says every picture has a story. And it's got 2017 on it. These are all special just for uh, the, uh, con the convention. And this little adorable thing. Have I shown you Zippy? Here's Zippy. Hello, Zippy. But this is Zippy. And he's a little Thai turtle. And he's kind of become our unofficial mascot. So Richard did a pin that is Zippy hanging outside of a journey bag. which And that's also got his signature in 2017 on it. And then this pin is representative of one of our new collections where everything is supposed to look like embroidery. And it does. When it's done, it's very, very pretty. And I've got a couple more pins, but they're on this. They also gave us this nice 
lanyard with the uh, name tag and everything on it and lots of pockets and, ca and everything so I was able to put my money in here and just carry this and didn't have to carry a wallet. They have they gave me a ribbon for being a senior leader and then also one for being the first convention so everybody could see that I was at my first convention. But here's two more pins. This one is the Dreams Happen pin which was the theme of our convention and it's it says convention 2017 down here and this is a pin that we got by visiting the journey station it's got 2017 journey station so this is just a really had a place back here for two pins and put business cards in here so this was really nice too I don't think yep there's my pin that I was going to tell you about before this is my pen, which indicates I am now certified to teach the gel press. You know, it's uh, Gel Press Academy is what they called it. So I completed this course, so I am going to be certified, or I am certified to teach the gel press. The only thing is, where am I going to put all these bags? Then I got this bag from my direct upline, Margaret Green, she bought me this brought me this really nice tote bag that's got my initial on embroidered on it and it's just really nice but it's a nice canvas bag i tell you can't have too many bags i learned that at this place all right now to some of the goodies let me start with some of the things that they ended up giving us uh, the first thing they gave us for early registration is this little stamp, which is the same little zippy in the journey bag, and it says convention bound. And I thought that was really cute. But that we got this for being uh, for signing up early. And then they gave us this uh, flower and, and die set, the flower swirls. And this is just, it's awesome. Let me show you a card we made. Actually, we made two cards with that. But there's one card we made. And this is the other one that we made using just the black and white, but we used the swirls as a background. But these were two of the cards we made. But this is really nice, and they gave us the die set, and I just took them out and put them in one of our stamp pouches so I could keep them together. And they gave us this stamp, which is Coils and Curls. And we did this card using that stamp. This is like a little workshop that we did. We, had, we made four cards, and they gave us the stamps to make the cards. And this one we colored with their color burst pencils. So that was a nice thing to have. And we got the dies for that also. Well, no, I bought the die. Take that back. The die was in the journey shop, so I bought that die. And then they gave us this, which is awesome. Dandelion Wishes. And uh, here, one of the sentiments... When you look at a field of dandelions, you can either see a hundred weeds or a thousand wishes. Remember when you were a kid and you used to blow the dandelion fluffs, you know, to make a wish? Well, they've got one that's on a stem. They've got one on the stem that where the fluffs have come off and it's becoming a flower. They have the ones that are flying through the air. And then they have another just the fluff. And then the other sentiments are make a wish and I think you're dandy. And this is called Dandelion Wishes. And this will, all of these sets that I'm showing you will be available on July the 1st. But let me show you the card we made with that. I hope you can see it. But we uh, heat embossed, we stamped with the blue. At first we did the color on the background, which I really enjoyed doing that. And then we did some stamping with the blue. 
and then we came back with clear embossing uh, well, clear pigment ink and embossed it with the white embossing powder. And it just is a beautiful, elegant card. And then the fourth stamp set they gave us is Must Have Sentiments. And there's thank you, sending big hugs, hello, so proud of you, praying for you, you did it, happy retirement, and congratulations. So these are the must-have sentiment stamps. And this will also be available January, uh, July 1. Then another thing they gave us, every time we turned around they were giving us something. They gave us this new ribbon. It's called Special Day Organza Ribbon. And it is Organza Ribbon and it's let me see how they've got this taped in here. There we go. Because I want to show this to you. It's beautiful. <coughs> Boy, they have it there. But look at this beautiful, sparkly organza ribbon. And you know me and sparkles. I love sparkles, but look at that. Isn't that beautiful? So I can't wait to play with this. So we got that ribbon. We got these embellishments. These are pumpkin patch. They're little, little ribbon bows already made for you. Aren't they cute? These will be really nice for your fall packages, but they're little tiny ribbon bows. And that's our new pumpkin, or I don't know if it's new, but the pumpkin patch ribbon. And uh, I really like those. Those are really cute. They gave us this. They gave us this. Which, and this is how they packaged everything. Everything was wrapped with ribbon. And this one has some confetti in there, or some, you know, mylar confetti. Some of them had sequins. Everything was done so nice, and I haven't taken this out because of the confetti, but you know, that's our buttercream ribbon, not buttercream, banana smoothie ribbon. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, and they have a rubber band. I mean, these the people at Journey Station work very hard to put these things together for us. Let me see how you shake some of the confetti off of this. Ooh, there's a lot still in there. I'm not going to be able to get this out, but this is one of the stamps that's in that embroidery. It's called Stitch, but see the fine details in this? And we got to talk to one of the designers. This was also a gift, I think I said. But we talked to the designer that worked on these and he was telling us that Richard said he wanted stamp sets that um, looked like embroidery and they would give him a picture and he'd say, nope. And so he'd have to redraw it. And he'd, nope. And he'd redraw it again. Nope. And finally he said, I want this to look like stitched embroidery. And he says, well, in order to do that, we're going to have to do each little line just like a stitch. And Richard says, exactly. So he had to draw each one of these little lines that are in here. And, you know, it's, it's a lot of lines. So it was nice to talk to the, to, the, um, to the designers. And then we had, I participated in a swap, and it was called an itty-bitty swap. It's something that we just started this year. And this was my entry for the Itty Bitties. And I had fun making these, and everybody seemed to love them. So I'm, I've been asked to do a tutorial on how to do the little envelopes. So I'm going to do one of those. But um, we enjoy this. And I've got a box full. I'm not going to show you the whole box. It, the video is going to be long enough as it is. Then I, we got, they gave us these little pillows that say Make Dreams Happen, Convention 2017. Make nice pillows for the airplane. 
And then one of the girls in my group made little post-it note holders and gave those out to us. My roommate, let me just pull out one of the cards, made me a set of five cards in the black and white, and I love it. Absolutely love it. it. Says thank you so much. So I got a, you know, got those. I just came home with a lot more than I took. Um, I got this from one of our girl, one of the girls in my group. Got a stamp chamois, and she put one in a bag and gave one to everyone, and she decorated the bag. So we have a new, you know, another stamp cleaner bag. See what else is hiding in here. I think the rest of this is are my itty bitties, and I'm not going to show all those. So all of that was free stuff. Now, what? I, oh, and another card kit. One of the girls made up a bunch of card kits for us with all the embellishments and everything, sort of like a bloom box. But I just didn't have time to do it, so I will do something with that later. Oh, this is another gift. I keep finding things. This is our brand new liquid color. And it is a dye-based color. So it's going to be entirely different than our pigment ink. Uh, this is called liquid color. And I will show you this. This is something I bought. This is also going to be new in the catalog. It's a Creata palette ink pad, and it's got five uh, felt palettes on here. So you can put your liquid color on here. You can use your pigment ink, re, you know, re-inkers. But anyway, you can make a, rain a rainbow if you want, or a monotone, you know, with your blues or whatever. But this is something that's going to be uh, available on July 1. But these colors are going to be in the catalog. So they gave us one so we could play with it. And we did use it. Actually, that's what we used to color this background. We just kind of splotted it onto a, a clear acrylic sheet and then spritzed it with water and then just dipped our paper in it. So it's going to be a fun thing. We can also use this on something else. But let me get to this. Um, this is a new hostess reward for a $600 party. And they added up all the prices that we paid for our bundles. And actually mine didn't reach $600, but they... Get, let me have it anyway. But this one I love. Uh, there's 23 stamps. So this one, I love this. It's the bear tree and then the tree, the leaves and then fruit, a little banner and a flower that you could decorate your tree. And then on the other side, it's family forever. And it says our family, congratulations, heartfelt sympathy, Hello, thank you, best wishes. And they're all curved to fit into this little banner. Um, where life begins and love never ends. A circle of strength and love is forever. So you can, you know, it's called Family Forever. And this is called, this is also Family Forever. And this is supposed to be like a family tree, I guess. And you could probably stamp that to make your family tree. But this was this is one of the host rewards for eighteen ninety five. You get the twenty three stamps if you have a six hundred dollar party. So that was new this year. Now these are at, one of the bundles was the liquid color. I fell in love with the liquid color, and I haven't even taken it out of this yet. But I've got all the colors of the liquid color, except this one was missing. So then they threw this in as a gift. So, I mean, beautiful colors in here. And I can't wait to start playing with those. And here's the embro uh, embroidered rose 
bundle. I had to get that because I really did like. Excuse me while I get rid of my sticky. I really, really, really like this rose. And this is the one with the embroidery lines. Isn't that pretty? They have a bud and a partially open bud. They have all of these. And they're all, each one, a separate line. Can you see? And then also in this bundle was this. It's a, and, and remember, all this is supposed to look like embroidery. So there's a hummingbird. You can see the detail in that. And then flowers for the hummingbird. And then I got the die for the rose and the die for the hummingbird. So let me go ahead and put those together. And then these are embroidered greetings. And see how they're, see the lines? They're made to be shaded and look like greetings. All embroidered. That was really neat. Now the next bundle I got, you know me and my glitz. I love glitzy. And we're coming out with new paper. And I'm sorry if it glares, but you can see it's a mirror. We've got mirror silver. And there I am. Hello. And mirror gold. That one really shines. But these are going to be new this year. And this die, when you cut these out of this mirrored um, paper, it's they're absolutely gorgeous. So I got that. Then I got this bundle, which is the stencil stencils, and you probably won't be able to see these. Being white, but ring stacks. It's hard because we've got the blooms behind them. But this one, let's see, doesn't have a picture of what it looks like. And this one I really like, Nature Collage. And this is Artful Wall. And Heart Wall. And Polka Dot Wall. And I don't think I brought... No, I don't have the new catalog in here. It's in the other room. Or I'd show you what they look like. But this was a bundle. We've got I've got two of the six by sixes and two eight and a half by eleven. And I got the eight and a half and eleven because the other bundle I got was the gel press essentials. And this is their gel press. And let me see how does it open this way. And right now, it is on a clear acetate sheet, but she told us the first thing we need to do is take these sheets off. This is not to be stored with the acetate. The, this is, the acetate is on there because of, in, uh, well, the acetate is on there because that's the way it comes off the manufacturing line. But she said we need to take that off. But this is our gel plate. And it's, oh, I don't know, three-eighths maybe of an inch thick. It'll not dry out. It's made to release whatever ink or paint you use in here. Um hard to get it back in here when it's not on the acetate but I will probably store it in this 
but you just take it out and put it on a surface, a hard surface. She recommended that you don't use paper uh, or anything soft that will absorb any of the oil from the gel. And that's one of the things she was explaining to us, that if your gel plate begins to feel like it's drying out, just take a couple of drops of baby oil and massage it in and just let it sit and it'll be good as new. This is not like the gel plates that we used to have that used to dry out on the edges if you didn't keep it sealed. This will not dry out just from normal use. So this is going to be awesome. And to go with that, the bundle included this awesome brayer. I have a brayer, but I don't have anything as big and nice as this. But there's our brayer. And it has the little hip on it where you set it up like that so you don't have to... It sits up. I mean, can you see how it sits up on this? Because it keeps this off of the table. So that is really a nice brayer. And... We also have this awesome, it's called Gel Impressions. And it's also made from this gel. But you would put your ink or paint or whatever you want to use on your jelly plate. I'm going to leave, well no I'm not because I was going to say I was going to leave the green paper. Let me put it on the green paper so you can see the hearts. But you would put your ink or whatever on here, then you lay this on and it will pull off the ink so it will leave an impression on the gel plate and you have an impression on here that you can also pull from. So I am going to do a demo real soon, probably closer to the catalog launch. Give me some time to practice. But I am really, really, really excited about the gel press. And that is the reason that I got all of the liquid colors. Because these liquid colors go do so well on the gel press. So I will show you all of that. And let's see, is there anything else? I'm sure there's something I have forgotten. But I just wanted to give you a preview of some of the new items and the things that I'm going to be doing demos on later so that you can uh, get an idea what you might want to get when the catalog goes live. And you can... Let me put the camera back up. Sorry about that. I have to move the camera. But uh, you can get your catalog. I don't believe they're going to ship until uh, after the 4th of July. If, if I'm not mistaken, I've read two different things. One said they would ship August the 19th if you do a pre-order. But then I read something else that said our customers' catalogs will ship the week, uh, start shipping July the 5th. So I'm not sure which date, but I do know if you want a catalog, you really need to get one. It is, it's just awesome. The, the uh, inspiration cards and projects that are in there are, are fantastic and there's four or five or maybe even more little simple projects where it's a two page uh in the you know in the section where the item would be and richard talks about how to use it how to make a card or how to do a background or whatever and so it's like having little mini tutorials inside of the uh catalog so you, it's $12.95 plus shipping. I know it sounds like a lot, but it is so worth it. And, and um, oh, another thing I should have shown you is the new Bloom Box. I don't have mine yet, but um, it's shipped. They're having some issues with the website. They find this is their first month trying to do the Bloom Box. And mine, I did get a notice that mine shipped. So it should be here tomorrow or Friday. But um, the Bloom Box is going to go monthly. You have a choice. 
you can do the subscription, which is $24.95 a month. That's Lola in the background. She had to come say hello. Uh, the Bloom Box subscription is still going to be $24.95 a month. If you choose to not subscribe, and you know, starting July 1, there will be the option to buy single Bloom Boxes. And that would be $29.95 if you do it a single month. So it just depends on, you know, which way you want to do it. But anybody that is my customer and subscribes to the Bloom Box, I will send a uh, catalog to. And I'm just going to call it my Bloom Box Club. I will send you a copy of the catalog at no charge. And this is only for subscribers, not for the one, you know, the a la carte or whatever they're calling the, the you know, monthly uh, the twenty nine ninety five, but the ones that sign up for the six months, and you know, as long as you're subscribing, I will send you catalogs. I will send you the big catalog, and I'll also send you the minis when they come out. Our holiday mini is coming out in August, and it will be live from August all the way through the end of December. So that's going to be a long time. But look at all the holidays that are between August and September and December. So, um, you know, that you would even get one of those. So as the, as the minis come out, I will also send you the minis. Otherwise, if you don't want to subscribe to the Bloom Box, your catalog is $12.95 plus $6.95, I believe, shipping. But it is so worth it. So get yours now. You can go to my website, www.funstampersjourney.com forward slash Gail Thompson. Click on Shop, and then uh, on the left-hand side, there is a column of categories. Don't click the tab on the top that says Catalog. That's only one to look at. But if you on the left-hand side, after you click Shop, all the way down towards the bottom is Catalogs. And you go in there, and it's the 2017-2018 inspiration book and catalog there's no picture of it right now I guess they wanted to keep it secret but right now there's no picture but hopefully they'll put one up soon but that's how you would order your catalog so and just remember if you order anything else the rest of your order on the same order with the catalog will not ship until your catalog ships so you might want to keep that in mind if you want something else you either need to wait and it'll come with the catalog or place two different orders for your other items so that the other items will ship right away. So I hope you enjoyed seeing some of the new products and I hope you're as excited as I am. It is it's such an amazing you know catalog and collection and I have finally gotten some rest so I'm not in a fog like I was in the videos that I did the other day. So so I will be back soon with the tutorial. Bye bye.